Hello there, and welcome back, my friends, to Bay of Fire Blues. I'm your host, Red Eye Mocha Lover, and right now we have Whispers of the Mind. Echoes, thoughts, images, they all flow through Red Mind's eye, or Red Eye's mind, and a mess of ideas with little rhythm or reason. His head po pounds, his skull feeling as if it could crack and break open at any moment. He knows little more than pain at this moment. The mess begins to flow together. It begins to become one. The echoes begin to vanish, and the thoughts and images become connected. The headaches lessens and fades. Suddenly, clarity. The mess is gone. <clears throat> the pain is gone. All that remains is a voice, a feminine voice spoken with authority. Alongside it comes feelings of arrogance, and a sense of being in the presence of being much greater than himself. She introduces herself, the goddess. A strange mix of words and ideas are put directly into Red Eye's head. Despite the oddity of it, the intention is clear. She seeks an alliance with him to aid each other in their goals. He hesitates. A creature like this, can it really be trusted? However, at such a disadvantage, she has little choice but to accept. The voice expresses satisfaction at his answer before leaving him to his thoughts. What was that? The unity guarantees Red Eye's slavers, gives Red Eye's slavers military access, unlocks the decision to trade with Red Eye, and trade with the goddess. We get the national spirit Alicorn Watchers, more division organization, maximum command power, daily command power, multiplier gain. And we guarantee the unity. Interesting. So. Nice. Where even... Oh, they're over here. The Unity, huh? What the heck is that? The Goddess? Is that an I? Um... Oh, a unique focus tree. That's really cool. Cool, let's begin with the next focus. So, I will say this. Uh, it was my fault yesterday. I apologize for this because I didn't realize that actually we can't do Stable 101. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do Stable 101 or the Cathedral. I didn't realize that I had to make the choice earlier and, I could, and that we can only go down one of these paths like, I didn't know that we had to choose Stable 101 to go down that path. Overall, there is more support of the town that's recording for us to go down Stable 101. So we're forced to go down the Cathedral, basically, for this campaign. However, I will play as Red Eye Slavers again, just because, you know, they have the Slaves, and they have the Talons. So, someday, I will come back and play as Red Eye Slavers. And you gotta remind me, we gotta choose Stable 101. But, regardless, we've done the Raiders. Military catches would be nice. I kinda, kinda wanna do this one, the Strong will lead. Because this way we get a little bit more political power, but... I think we're okay. We get a little over one right now. Plus, we Red Eye. Red Eye, the scout of Stable 101, the master of Philadelphia, the ruler of the Heartland, the prophet of the disciples, whose name is known and feared across the entire wasteland. He has already accompanied many things that were thought impossible, unifying the great city of Philadelphia, bringing the raiders of the hinterlands to heal and forging an empire. Yet, this is not enough. His ambitions go far beyond simply ruling over a single city. No, he aims to truly restore Equestria, and he's willing to do anything necessary to see that goal accomplished. Very good. As we established yesterday, this mod goes by very, very quickly, which I love. Cool. Uh, I'll be honest. This is not where we left off because I basically had to restart the campaign, which didn't take that much. Did not take that much time for me to do, because there was an update that broke the save. Which you know, I love the updates. You know what? Usually, I'm uh, I'm fairly positive on updates, and so sometimes I'm actually not really happy with updates because they could break the saves, and that's why I usually leave my Steam account in offline mode. But I mean, this this mod runs so fast. I'm Hello, who are you guys? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a side at all. We got alicorns, cool. Uh, I'll throw you all over here then. Cool, awesome. So, basically I replayed the mod up until this point, which was, like I said, totally, totally, totally fine with me. Cool, what are we researching? Woodworking, local workspaces, resistors, very nice, we have red eye done. Next up, new science labs, an extra research slot, we've got to go that way. Technology has always played a key role in Red Eye's plan to restore Equestria. It is only through the restoration of the old world technology that we've been able to restore Philadelphia to an industrial powerhouse. Thir further innovation will bring us even closer to our ultimate goal of resurrecting this great nation. Whole research slot? I don't even want, want to look at anything else. Research is the way forward. Less political, whoa, less political power gain. Has a feud with Doc Slaughter. Man, Doc Slaughter. Has a feud with Doc, Dr. Glue. Oh. Okay, well, slave, slaver quarter mistress. Oh man, quarter mistress. You know, just for that alone, I want to go that route. But we'll see. Actually, can we do this one? Current party is destruction revisionary. Need more than forty percent world tension. If we wait, we can get this for the same cost. It doesn't really matter at the moment for that. Totally fine. Closed board. Oh yeah, controlled borders. More monthly population. Open borders, closed borders. Okay, so that's not too bad. Production policies. Uh, Freeman or free cults, not Freeman's fixers, but free cult fixers. A little more construction speed. What do we have over here? Because we did. I thought we got. Ooh, there's, there's this person. Has selected request Alicorn Slave Masters. 
Postmaster General that we saw last time, parcel stamp. Charcoal dust. I like the daily compliance, that's really nice. Daily continuation support, okay. Sadistic slaver, sounds like fun. And sympathetic slaver. Oh. Now we do have sweet dreams, we give us more political power every single day. So I'm gonna wait, and eventually we're gonna get charcoal dust because more stability. Once you hit, like, I think 80% stability, you can't get any more, but then again, that's old world blues. Oh, what is all this? Screw it, we're gonna go for it. Charcoal dust. Is charcoal a guy or girl? Pony? Is it a pony? I, I don't know. I, I, I really have no idea. So, force settlements, I like that. So, the alliance with the unity. Our alliance with the goddess of the unity has so far been a mutually beneficial one. But while it may be good for now, both parties know that it is a delicate agreement, liable to shatter the moment one of us decides to stab the other in the back. Our ultimate goal is to learn of the secrets of Alicorn creation and um, impelled metamorphosis potion to fulfill Red Eye's vision of a true unity. The goddess's trust of us is currently very small, our trust in them is minimal. We have no knowledge of the secrets of IMP. Higher trust means better deals with her as she will be willing to commit more to our alliance while our infiltration will work towards this, learning the secrets of the IMF. Um. Increases trust? What is this? Since spies. Request slave masters. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and we just saw that one over here with the slave master. Yeah. Less pop monthly population, less ability, more construction speed, and cap. Production cap. That's interesting. Well, let's, let's, let's uh, do that one. You know, let's do both. You know? In infiltrate a little bit more, get a little bit more trust. That seems like a good idea, right? Cool. So... Some of you guys asked, or even just commented yesterday, that you're like, wow, what the heck is this mod? This is so cursed, this is so cool, this is so blursed. Stuff like that, you know. So, before I'm... After I made the first video in this campaign, like, after, you know, first episode and such, I had to look around to make thumbnails, you know. And I didn't realize that Fallout Equestria has been a thing since 2011. Like, I did not know this existed. This fandom existed since... Since maybe... Since I was in, still in high school, so... I never knew that, but I thought I'd let you guys know because some of you guys didn't, I'm sure, don't know that either, so. Increase trust and infiltration of the goddess, the gift of the goddess, new schools, I kind of like that. Oh, but we get more, I gotta go with Philadelphia Radio. Plus 0.5 political power, division organization, trade deal opinion factor, and daily visionary support, hello! This is Philadelphia Radio bringing you the latest in today's forecast, smog-filled skies followed by a radiated rain in the afternoon. Now, moving on to one of my favorite songs, March of the Paris Sprites. Very nice. A full three such slots. Delightful. So we already have Peaky Pie Balloons. I'm probably still going to end up getting like... Actually, can we get all the way over here? No, we can't. Monoplane Fighters, maybe... You, we saw yesterday that these guys have was it, 16 ground attack, which is just slightly better than what we already have. Land auction. I think we'll go down Wasteland Wharf Lander, right? I'm pretty sure we have to go down that way. And look over here. Research speed. Um, suddenly the wasteland, and yeah, wasteland warfare. So let's go down that route. We get less. We get less planning speed, but plus twenty five percent max planning. I will gladly take that. That is actually very much worth it. Let's see construction speed. Sure, why not? So okay, so because I told you guys earlier that I had to replay this, you know, the first episode. Well, apparently there's an event which in which I got a nuke already. I'm not sure how you, how you can see where you got a nuke, but I traded with somebody or something. I think it was the old Appaloosia slavers, and they found a nuke and we were like, I believe we like told them to give it to us, and they did, so. I'm not really sure where we see, where we see nukes. Ah, oh, the Philadelphia radio. Very nice. Now, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do red-eye radio, or we should do sprite bot monitoring. And overall, there's a little bit more support for... Sprite bot monitoring, so which we'll go with that one. Now we're gonna lose daily visionary support, but we already get plus we already got what? 0 0.05 from this one anyways, and we already have our visionary supporter as a minister or advisor already, so we'll still get more. So we only have so many soldiers to keep watch over a very, very vast land. Unfortunately, it seems that the sprite bots all had spyware built into them by the Ministry of Morale, which we are more than glad to use for our own purposes. Very nice. Very, very good. 30% uh, world tension, not bad. Keep raising it up. Look how fast it's going. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of hoping we get uh, 37%. I'm hoping for 40% soon, but we'll see what happens, you know. Mm. Mm. Very nice. New schools, Old Appaloosa. Guarantee Old Appaloosa slavers. 
Full Mountain Gems. Expand our reach. Ooh, Octopus. Yeah, that's not bad. Send the kids to school to get an education. Ooh, look at that. Do we get more weekly pony power? The Slaver Network, the Unavoidable Crime. Ra Ooh, what is that? Raider Army with Loyal Raider Army. I like that, but it's 70 days. Birth of a new nation. Or oh, we become Red Eyes Empire. Adds cores on all controlled mountain tribe lands and rural areas in the Eastlands. Rebuilding Equestria. Wait, is, is this mutually exclusive? I don't think so. Let's do Rally Support. Our cause is noble and our goals just. Unfortunately, the road to the restored Equestria is not one that is easily traveled. Many different factions stand against us. For pity warlords to oppressive nations. They all oppose us and by extension oppose our vision for a better world. All we ask is... is for you, the ponies of Equestria, to fight for what is right, to join us in our struggle as we seek to re restore harmony and peace across the land. Nice. Nice. Slave labor don't mind if we do. Ah, there we go, 40%. We got some resistors. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good percent. Well, we'll see. We'll give it a, maybe a few more days and see what happens. Resistors are good. Smoke signals don't mind if we do. Sad we can't do this one yet. Oh, uh, now it's 38% world tension. Can someone please kill someone else real quick? That would be very delightful. Quite delightful. Alright, in the meantime... Oh, do we have a chief of the Air Force balloon mechanic? Oh, we can actually make more airships. Actually, is this considered an airship? Um, hmm. Actually, what do we have here? Alicorn I guess since we'll be using it, yeah, that's fine. Go and throw some on there, that's fine. Let's take a look. Airships. Can you buy a balloon? I'm assuming it is. Port strike. I mean, it looks like an airship. It looks like a hot air balloon, so what, do, what else am I supposed to say? So, you know what? It's, we're not going to get that much. Ooh, send more spies? Let's go and send some extra slaves. You know, we'll do both. Why not? Yeah, let's, let's go request the slave master anyways. Now, we could do forced settlement. Someone gets... We lose a few slaves. Let's... It's only a few slaves, right? Reclaim a goods factory? That's not bad. We lose 3,000 3, slaves. Rally support? Very nice. Command hierarchy? Inspire the masses. More non-core pony power. Recruit the population. But we lose civilian construction speed. Dreams of the people with one goal. Huh. Okay. The Steel Rangers. Launch attacks on the Steel... Ooh. Ooh. I want to see what this does, though. The Unvoidable Crime. Red Slave Question Desk. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go and grab May, Might Makes Right. Less recovery, but more organization. Okay, okay. I can get on board with that, maybe. And what are we currently building? We don't have enough for this. Oh, come on. Can someone... Oh, please raise world tension. Please raise world tension. And actually, off screen, too, there were some raids that people did against us, like the Ponyville Raiders, as well as the Bloody Army. That's why I have my soldiers centered around them. Because they tried to raid us a few times, and I said no. And we won both times, so... Alright, at this point, let's just go ahead and grab someone else. Research advisor. I don't want to lose political power, no thanks. Screw it, we're just going to do that one. Free Colts fixers. Make it easy, something to try to chew. We've got a lot of pony power, wow. Iron hoof and limited conscription helps out. Definitely, definitely, definitely. 15,000 ponies. The unavoidable crime, what is this? Uh oh. The goddess of... Expands the attache, losing our... Wait, what? The heck? Um, hold on, so let's look at this first. Every day, the ponies worked and died under Red Eye's rule. The factories ate our ponies near as fast as they did raw material. The smog took more and more lives every day, and the slaves themselves were directly involved in more than a few of the daily casualties. Looking out across his domain, these thoughts went through Red Eye's mind. Down below, he could see the slaves reporting for what they could very well be their last work detail before their bodies would finally give out, and life would leave them. In that distance, he could see the flames and smoke of the vast foundries that supplied his army of steel. steel. Over the sounds of industry, the occasional gunshot could be heard. A punishment for unruliness or to end the suffering of an injured slave? The end result was still the same either way. Another pony dead. Another body for the pile, another casualty of Philadelphia. So many deaths, so much suffering, all of it because of him. Because of what he had done, because of what we had created. This level of suffering was unthinkable before the war. And yet the Wasteland claimed just as much responsibility as he did. Out there, Pony suffered and died just the same as they would within the walls of Philadelphia. Only the Wasteland had been inflicting pain and suffering for over 200 years now, with no end in sight, no end, that is, until he came along. With each life given in Philadelphia, another is saved down the line. With each factory made operational, another step is made towards rebuilding and recreating re re the harmonic society from before the war. Red Eye knew that he could not lose sight of that goal, that dream. Equestria would be rebuilt and Pony Khan would be saved. Salvation, no matter the cost, we get a little bit more stability. Very nice. 
In spite of the message, I'll do the old fashioned way. Sometimes words simply aren't enough. When Red Eye's charisma and cunning have failed, he is instead forced to rely on Brute's power to see problems solved and his goals furthered. Someday, warfare will be left behind as a relic of the past, and peace will reign across the land. However, that day will not be today. So, what do we have here? The goddess expands a tache. When selected, if not selected, replace Alicorn Watchers with Alicorn Attachment. Okay, looks okay. When selected, we get the same thing. Losing our attaché. Trusting her to spawn so she is retracted some of her support. A acceptable and decent. Some knowledge of the IMP. Okay. 36% wool tension. You know, screw it. I'm just going to go back. I'm not going to even bother with it. There you go. Whatever. It's fine. Now we don't have to worry about it. And now we're going get to get about 40% wool tension probably any second now. Alright, now what do we do? Specialized options, we could. Let me get some crowd control gear. I'm not sure if we got that yesterday, but let's let's go and grab that. So, let's take a look at this. We have Alicorn Guard Wings, which look very cool. Wow, that is definitely an Alicorn. Definitely. Let's see, Talon Companies, they are 16 combo. Can I throw any more on here? No, we cannot, which sucks. Can we throw anything else on here? Yes, we can. Good, demo teams. We need to research demo teams. Hmm. Alright then. Smoke signals. Well, the demo teams are next. Thank you, Dinamite. And seed selection. Very good. Raider war bands. Well, they have. They're only ten combat. But okay, that's not enough, man. I'll be real. Oh, that's all we can do for now. It's fine. Not bad. Not bad. Gearbox. Now we have a deficit of guns, so be it. Pretty normal. Pretty normal for us. The war never changes. As its speech comes to an end, the assembled soldiers begin to march out. Organized columns of ponies and griffins, armed with guns manufactured here in Philadelphia, moving to carry out Red Eye's will. The stallion himself looks on. As the tools of his conquest move, to some ponies, the sight would inspire pride and joy. After all, doesn't every pony dream of such a level of power? To have an army capable of doing anything they wish, to crush their enemies and enforce their orders? But to Red Eye, the sight is a mere sober one. Some of these ponies would never return from the next assignment. That Those that did would only do so just to be sent into harm's way again and again. Within a year, it's entirely possible that the vast majority of the assembled soldiers will have died in Red Eye's name. They were not the first, nor would they be the last. Many had died under Red Eye, and many more would die yet. Each death for the cause. Each death one step closer to rebuilding Equestria, their sacrifices would not be in vain. For a brighter future. Drums of War. Um... Find the bloody I'm with the drums of war. Okay, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, this the following will bypass the focus. Does not exist. Does not exist. Okay. The troubles of the North and their petty conflicts are of little consequence to us. However, the land they sit on can be put to great use. Perhaps even more importantly, the Midnight Wind Park is a valuable source of electricity with which we could fuel our industry. Ooh, annex war goal. Yes, please. Bloody talons. Birth of a new nation. Yes, please. Adds cores on all controlled mountains and tribal lands. Nice. Very nice. So. Green Valley, Hill Trotters. Green Valley, here we go. You know what? I probably shouldn't do it like this. We're going to have everyone go on the front lines. I can't imagine that they would be able to stop us, but I could be wrong. More attack. I've got to get more attack. I, the defense is cool and all, but recovery rate, speed, black claw. I mean, I've got to go down that way. Send extra unicorn slaves. More trust. Acceptable. Cool. And you know what? Let's do this one. Slaves are meant to be used, right? Yeah, let's go. Two. I could use more factories. I could definitely use more guns, too. So, Keep training, everyone. Now we're going to be very, very, very strong. Which I like, 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 like. There we go. Do we have enough balloons? Yes, we do. Can we duplicate you? Hopefully. Deploying. And come on over to here. There we go. The drums of wool. The bloody army. Break the mobs. Well, let's go ahead and do old Appaloosia New Schools. A gift to the goddess. Sure, why not? The goddess has proven herself to be a powerful ally, though perhaps not a trustworthy one. Who shall send her a shipment of slaves? What she does with them, we care not. This will hopefully deepen our ties and allow us to get more insight into the inner workings of the Maripony. More trust and infiltration? So be it. Alright, let's see. Let's stop training. Stop costing us all those guns every single day. It's going to take quite a while for us to get there, but that's okay. Happy 12.37, my friends. 
Scout travel kits? Sure, why not? Actually, can you still make... Hmm. Do we really even need that? Sportment for... Maybe not. Eh, we're researching it anyways. I don't really care. We'll get it done eventually. Let's put on one for now. There you go. And... There you go. Cool. Three. Do they even have any divisions? Uh, they have five. May be max. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, we have it. Whoops. Division's made already here, huh? Oh, gearbox. Well, I guess mysterious attack. Why not? And gunnut seems pretty promising as well. Okay, we're doing very well against them. Wow, look at those. I like these alicorns. Actually, you guys have... That's hard to read. That's so hard to read. Um... Yeah, that's pretty hard to read. Uh, let's see. No, over here we can actually see what the numbers are like. So 18.7, 62.5, 18.67, 29.2. Wow. This is way better for breakthrough. And our these guys are 122, 29. Alicorn wing guards, sign me up. That's so much better breakthrough. Oh my goodness. Don't mind if we do. Stern, do you have anything for us? Might makes right. Uh, savage leader, we gotta go that way. Get some entrenchment, get some savage leader. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with anything else. More breakthrough is uh, mm, tasty. Mmm, yummy. Alright, march through the drum. More speed. Organization lost when moving. Minus 10%. A gift to the goddess. Dog slaughter cybernetics. More monthly population. Special forces attack and defense. Division organization requests alicorns. Dr. Glue's experiments. Be required to begin testing IMF on ponies? Ex oh. Burn the Ever Tree. Well, that's going to do the Bloody Army. Though they are a bunch of savage raiders with little care for the future of Equestria, the Bloody Army can make for a valuable ally. They stand as the only force separating us from the new Merway, which uh, we are not on the best of terms with. Perhaps we can encur even encourage them to turn their efforts to taking out our southern rival. Okay, cool. Yeah, why not? Why not? Mm, supply consumption isn't too bad right now. More planning would even be better. Uh, Postmaster General. Hmm. So we can't do this one, which kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. Alicorn Slaver. You know, I'll let you guys decide. Who should we choose for the last two political advisors that we should use? Because I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I might choose Parcel Stomp, because he's more max planning and planning speed and division organization. That's so good. So good. Protégé is not bad. Not bad. He's not great, but not bad. And Sadistic Slaver, well, we all know my opinion on slaves. So let me know in the comments below who should we get. And in Antistes, if if you think we should go there. Hey, look at this, it's colored! Nice! Oh, this is a little bit different than... Ooh, construction, construction research speed. This is a little different than what I'm used to. Oh, look at that, I like that one. Tool procurement research speed. Power station, energy weapons, ballistic weapons, Robco. Ha, huh, Robco. I want to go with uh, industrial concern just because that's usually pretty good to do. That's it's sort of generic-ish in terms of its benefits, but uh, that's all I found with me. So many people have we lost? Six. It's only we've only killed two hundred of them off, but hey, not bad. Would y'all like to get over here and do a fantastic job? Of course y'all would. Go right ahead, and we're almost there. We've lost about what ten guys, seven guys. We'll lose more to resistance than anything else. So I guess to this point, we should figure out who we're going to attack next. Break the mob? Bloody... Uh, oh, incoming raid. Here we go. So this is what happened on screen like once or twice. Urgent news has arrived from the southeast Evertree, one of our border states. A marauding army from the Bloody Army has crossed the boundaries between our two nations and engaged in looting, pillaging, and burning down local settlements. Should we divert some troops from the front line to handle the, the incursion? Protect civilians, protect our towns? See now the Bloody Army starts a border war between us and... Then, huh. So we have... Lower Hinterlands. Oh, there's New Merway. Let's see, Upper Hinterlands, Winter, Southeastern countries. I think it's over here, right? We've got to keep an eye on how many days we have. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Here we go. Earth Pony Way. Philadelphia is the Equestria's industrial hub. To get there, the Sky Bandit will fly over Hellhound territory. Hellhounds, tainted diamond dogs, go through rock as if it's water and have claws so sharp they pierce standard alicorn shields. Little Whip enters a memory orb from a power plant and sees Ministry of Wartime Technology higher-ups agreeing that it's time to enrage Applejack's retirement. 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, we might not be able to win here, actually, because we're so weak there. Which, actually, that really sucks. Guns for Blood Maine. Numerous slaves have been harnessed to a series of carriages, each of which contained within them everything necessary to supply an army. Heavily armed slavers stood by, two for every cart, and a full wing of talons that circled overhead. The Griffin escort would only last until they had left the Seal Rangers' patrol range. Once they were safe from any attempted assault by those tin cans, the slavers would be left alone the rest of the way to the bloody army's territory. Supplies they carried with them would hopefully go a long way towards preparing their raid allies, or raider allies, to deal with the new Mareway. New Mary will soon fall. Uh, well, they're raiding us and they're actually winning. So, actually, that's not very good for us. Hopefully, we can take them out later on. Mm, do we want that one? Uh, I'm going to go with Flamers. I like Flames. Recon? Well, if we're already using that, we might as well get that one, right? Bloody Talons? The Bloody Army has a plenty of disorganized raiders, but very few professional soldiers. Their army's dead. No state to deal with the properly trained military of New Mareway. We'll have to send some of our own leads to help tip the scales in our favor. I should have sent someone else down here, because we're going to lose this battle, which really sucks. Caravan's looted. Oh, gosh darn it. The enemies managed to break through and ambush a friendly caravan, taking with all of them the riches and slaughtering the company merchants. Okay, I don't like you guys. Oh, and actually, you guys, uh, you right there. Oh, yeah. So, who's next on the docket? So, after the Bloody Barons... Silverwing Army Depot, Light the Deep Doorstep. So, Light. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to kill those guys off later. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. Oh, you're all together? Oh, is that a faction? Oh, the mob. Oh, is it like the Mafia? We can always raise the conscription level. Oh, that actually does hurt us. 8% goes up to 15. Holy smokerinos. Who do we want next? Wait, we, oh, do we have three here? Oh, well, max. Let's get some max planning. How about that? Infrastructure is always nice. It's only five percent bonus, so it's not that much. I honestly would probably would prefer to get stability out of anything else. So, the golden gecko. Bloody towns break the mob. The criminals to the east consider themselves better than your than your run of the mill raiders by virtue of being a bit more polite about their crimes. It is well past time that we remind them that a crime is a crime and justice is very blind. What are we missing? Oh, oh, crystals. Well, how about we trade? Well, you could do the unity, but they don't have enough. Generous souls. Little pup joins Red Eye's slave force. Red Eye gets a speech in person. He's a stable dweller of Cyberpony. Little Pip finds some guards abusing some slave bullies, and she kills the guards while fleeing through a ministry of morale. Fun Farm Mirror House. She sees a mirror reflecting a version of herself that's bloodied and in raider armor. She gives up her escape within a bunch of foals, and one of Red Eye's train the next generation of elite schools pulls guns on her. An alicorn floats an illusionary... Illusory, illusory a grenade towards her that surrounds a memory orb, and Little Pup falls for her own trick. The memory orb is from Pinkie Pie, whose PTM enhanced Pinky Sense tells her that Little Pep, Little Pip is watching when she feels her hoof burning. After speaking to Red Eye face to face, Little Pip gets sent to the arena where Zenith the Zebra is champion. Offshoot events. Generous Souls won. While speaking to Red Eye, he asks, Do you think I'm a monster? Yes. Red Eye says, because of course I am, and you, stable dweller, can probably see it more clearly than most, because you and I are, are a lot alike, are we not, before sending Lily, Little Pup to the Pedrina. Next. Cool. I gotta stop making so many divisions right now, though. Oh, we got more of you guys. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's get down on the divisions, because I really need to focus more on guns right now. I really, really, really need more guns. Um, we don't really have anything to spare, though. Zenith, Little Pip. Little Pip. Knocks Zenith out by te telekinetically choking her. She escapes the cage by surrounding it with radioactive goo to obscure the guard's aim. Telekinetically, picking the lock on top of the cage and levitating herself out, she brings Zenith, and her transmitter is shot. Little Pip kills an alicorn who's filled with power from radiation. R Red Eye and Little Pip have a chat. Red Eye wants Little Pip to kill a goddess who telepathically controls alicorns. He plans to ascend to godhood and control the sun, moon, and weather. Once he's a god, he wants Little, little, little Pup to benevolently rule his empire. If Little Pup, little pup doesn't kill the goddess, he says he'll kill her friends in the tower. The rest of the group in the Single Pony Project Tower contact Red Eye. They set up homages access, defeated his captured foes, and captured his right hoof griffin for a bargaining. Red Eye was talking about Ten Pony Tower, though. He has a balefire bomb from New Appaloosa and isn't afraid to use it. Oh man, enslaved conquered populations? You get 2,000 slaves? Eh, we have 31,000. I think that's pretty good already. Send extra slaves over? 
fund the bloody army. Send troops to the bloody army. We lose 520 power. Ah, uh, sure. We can try that. One. I suppose. Why not? I'm training them, so it actually doesn't help us out with guns at all. From division reinforcement. Well, the deficit looks like it's going really down really quickly, but it's only because we're doing this. Call the attack. Losing our attaché. When selected, goddess expands it. Okay. Ask for pre-war secrets. Um, send spies. We need more infantry equipment. Of course, an Alcorn general. Break the mobs. Very cool, very cool. Let's do the fire of industry, because we could probably use a little bit more industry right now, to be honest with you. So, shortly before the Great War, Equestria went through a second industrial revolution. From this, the nation was able to completely remake itself. If we wish to rebuild this great nation, we shall have to reignite those fires of industry once more. And coming... Are you kidding me? Northwest Evertree? If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Oh, that's a, that's literally on the opposite side of the country here, so... I'm going to take all six of you all, perhaps, and you guys come over here. I was about ready to attack, too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, get in there, come on, go, 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 go. Uh, we can't do anything! What? That's so stupid! They're so far away, we can't do anything, man! Are you kidding me? That's so not cool. Let's just come over here, though, and uh, take these guys out. We should do relatively okay-ish. As long as we can hold the line, that's what I care about the most. Alright, uh, get some more defense. Military training, very nice. Go do one, we need more guns. March to the drum! Now, slave army... Actually, let's see, does this... It requires bread for war, which is this one. Okay, so... So, if you choose one side... The other side, you can still choose when you get lower to it. So, lose the recruitable population, more factory output. More construction speed, less recruitable population. Less supplies, which is not bad. Or slave army, where you get more like an organization, but get less factory output. Less infantry combat width. You get a little bit less further factory output. More recruitable population. Like infantry attack, but you lose some hard attack. Hard attack, I'm not too concerned about. Soft attack, I kind of like. Slave army? I like the output a lot, but... I got. I think I got to go with this. A slave army, infantry combat with goes down by that much. Born into service. Absolutely. Now is everyone on the line here? Is anyone moving? No. That's good. Call the attack. Maybe at least that way they won't attack us. Aircraft. We can't do that. Actually, if we go to war, that might do something here. Now they immediately, immediately begin attacking us. Oh boy. Hopefully these guys can hold out. If we have to, we can help hold the line, of course. The fires of industry are nice. Let's go ahead and do the forest, the city. Let's do the city. The flames of the Industrial Revolution once blazed across the world, but there was nowhere they where they burned brighter than within the city of Philadelphia. This great city was Equestria's largest industrial hub even before the Great War, but only further expanded to meet the needs of wartime Equestria. This great city shall once again become the industrial envy of the world. Alright, so losses. Oh, we can't see it's kind of glitched. Let's see if we can do it like this. See, someone recommended I do this when it was glitched last time. I still can't see it. So, that's so dumb. Oops, my bad. <sighs> that's, just, that's just a Hoi 4 thing. It's not anyone's fault. It's just a Hoi 4 thing. It's fine. Recon 2. Not bad. Well, we're going for flamethrowers. Kind of want miniguns. If we can get there. Flamers, not bad, not bad. Ooh, robotics. We're not using that quite yet. Anything for pony tax? Yeah, we should probably do this. Construction speed's not bad. So lots of pocket consumption, special forces, dispersed training, entrenchment speed's okay, frontline platoon, a little more breakthrough. Special forces. We are using special forces, but infantry. Hmm. Hmm. What about we do air doctrine? Why not? Something different. A little different. You know what, you can make this, but just make it later on. Can we actually win here, maybe? Yes, most definitely we can. Nice. God, I wish we could see how much how much damage we've taken. 
Okay, we beat that militia up. Very good. Go on in and crush them out. There you go. Very good. Another, oh man, they keep throwing more divisions on here, which is not bad, but still. Can you actually go there and then go immediately there, glow part? Please come down here. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. There you go. Well, that's the case. Just come over here then. Not bad. If we try to general attack, we might actually be able to win. Maybe. They're not really attacking us though, so we still gotta be a little careful. Not bad. Uh, let's go here. Help out. Help out. It's so fast. Oh, the city. Nice. Ooh, building slots. Ooh, let's get this one. Reopen Philadelphia's motors. Self-propelled carriages were relatively rare before the Great War, being a luxury that was restricted to just the upper crest of Equestria. This changed radically once Equestria's industry was kicked into high gear. Countless carriages were produced at first just for the military, but later for the consumer sphere as well. One of the most successful commercial manufacturers within Equestria was Philadelphia Motors, which was responsible for the widely successful Model C carriage, which was one of the most common civilian carriages to be found across Equestria. With a bit of a touch-up, their factories could be put to work once more. Which would be a good thing. A very, very good thing. Alright, you guys come here. Send half you guys as well. Infantry seems to do relatively okay. Very nice. And I kind of want to encircle these guys, but it'd be a little difficult here. Oh, they actually broke through. Well, that's not good. Tell them no. No means no. There you go. Tell them no as well. I'll uh, send you guys because you have so much breakthrough. Go eat a stale biscuit. There you go. Teach him who's boss. I would. I wish we could see how many men. Oh, or how much pony power we lost. 107 is not bad. I mean, considering what we have. April Grove. They got a little bit of man pony power. A little bit. They all have a little bit here. Frisian tribe. Cool. We want absolute wins there. Very good. Very good. We gotta get light next. You guys can actually go up there, which is not ideal. Uh, actually, you know what? You One of you goes this way, actually. 1v1, you'll still be able to win. And actually, I'm going to send you this way as well, and go that way. We do need to core this territory, though, so there is that. Nice, they can win. Good. Very good. Uh, oh, we got a ton of political power. Wow. Every cap for the army? Good. Race conscription level, we're okay. Balloon Maniac, why not? Here we go. Oh, we didn't even do anything there. Cool. Help us out. Uh, let all you guys do this. There you go. Slowly moving on in. You got light. There you go. If we did a general attack, it'd be pretty, probably pretty costly, but probably good. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Radiation. Outposts. Uh, it's not bad. Let's do the forest next. Red Eye has never forgotten its home, which lies deep within the depths of the Evertree Forest. The forest itself is far from the safest place at Equestria, being full of all sorts of dangerous mutated fauna and flora. Well, this has made the forest very deadly to any pony who dares venture into it. It has also kept Stable 101 safe from any attempted outside incursion. Thanks to this, stable is still in operational condition to this very day. Very good. All right, so over here, all you guys are just gonna go. Wee. Cool. God, I wish we could see that. But alas, we cannot. Good. A grand invitation. The goddess has sent me a message. Though it was framed as a generous offer, in truth, it is nothing but an ultimatum dressed up in pleasantries. Her offer to subsume me and erase the differences that divide us, to become another member of the unity. Should I accept this, I would be unable to shepherd my new unity, and many of my talents will re rebel. But if I do not, the temporal goddess would be unlikely to take it well. Knowing her temperament, she would not be above picking a fight just to prove a point. She may listen to reason if I convince her of, of her the glory of another unity, so she won't be alone, but that's a bit of a long shot. I become a subject. My plan shall continue. Plead for time. Um. Hmm. Our trust is currently extreme. Oh yeah, 
know, if she wants to come in, we could, but you know what? I, I really want to try general. Well, general attack up here would be probably pretty bad. We gotta just capitulate these people down here first, so we gotta manually do this first. There you go. There you go. Just come to the bend. There you go. And anywhere else, just go up there. There you go. Down here will be fine. Even the Silver Wing Army Depot might be pretty good as well. Good. Move on up. We got someone encircled here. Good. They're gone. The lights capitulated. Great. I wouldn't say no. Not right now. Good, good, good. Now this will spread out their their line just like ours. Can we try a general attack maybe and do relatively okay maybe? If we force the attack, could we win? Yes, yes. Very costly, yes, I know. There we go. Now we're gonna win pretty, hopefully, relatively okay-like. Another division, don't mind if we do. The forest, great. Another arms, yeah, at this point we gotta keep doing that. Can we capitulate these guys before we get that done? We might, who do we have to capitulate actually? Oh, we can't even tell because this is glitched, right? At least for now it is. Please win. Like LMGs, very good. More recon, don't mind me. There we go, I got him. Alright, that's why I wanted to wait and see if we could do this one, but we can't. Full Valley Tribe. Oh, crud. Do I have to go to war them manually? Maybe. The Children State of Foltopia. Those guys are up here, aren't they? Or no? This is the state of. Oh, okay. Comrade West Mud, six to thirteen division, six to same amount of divisions, maybe. Not that much. Well, okay. Hundred thirty days, so be it. Because we don't have a lot of time to waste with this. All right, so we got to choose another focus. That's fine. Dog slurs. Yeah, we must do this one. Many of the greatest innovations achieved by Stable 101 were in this field of cybernetics. Over the last few centuries, they had achieved technological breakthroughs once thought to be impossible. However, over all this time, there's been no pony more experienced in the field of cybernetics than Dr. Slaughter. His expertise is, is as vast as his insanity, and he's proven himself to be a greatly useful asset time and time again. Now he's once again proven to be as used to us as he's developed schematics for basic cybernetics that can be mass-produced and easily implanted. The Lightbringers met their demise of Shattered Hoof. Ooh. Send weapons? Ooh. You know what we will? Send spies? Yes. We have acquired pre-war records of IMP. You know what? I don't do this, but let's go and enslave them. Force settlement? Well, we just enslave them, so that wouldn't even matter. Goods factory? Why not? And these guys, just go ahead and call the attack. Blood main, huh? Unique focus tree, eh? Very cool. Very cool. Well... Good luck, guys. It's, it's literally over river. That's fine. Let's take a look at this, just in case. Engineering. We need more research speed. I can't ignore that any longer. And better light, light machine guns. Very good. Still getting more infantry equipment, though. Good lord, we need so much. So much. Daily armor speed gain. More attack. Less division training time. Can openers. Um, weapons of war. Well, actually, this one gives us more weaponry, so let's do that one. Wartime Equestria had plenty of armory sitting around, stocked full of weapons and other useful equipment. It's pointless for all those guns to sit there gathering dust. We'll crack their armories open and secure the equipment for our own use. Secrets of IMP. Our work at Maripony has finally paid off. After many, many dead scouts and spies, we finally retrieved a, a viable sample of the impelled metamorphosis potion, where it now sits safely beneath the cathedral, awaiting testing. One great leap closer to unity. Nice. It seems like we have a time limit, maybe, that we got to complete this before too long. Unobstructed piling. Very cool. Let's make sure we come back over here and do some more engineering, but I'm going to grab some more output first. Public projects are more important to do. And... Vehicle designer. Planes. But, well... No, oh, sure, why not? Actually, volunteer operators. More non... Actually, we lose non-core pony power. We get more stability. But well, we do like slaves, and we are technically using a slave army, so, I mean, outside auxiliaries is not bad. So, we don't really need that yet, though, so, wait, research. Ooh, I don't want to lose political power. I don't mind losing stability for political power right now. But robotics means nothing, so I'm going to, we'll probably get Dr. Glue. So, let's wait first. Let's get the quartermistress. Yes, please. Oh, yes. Oh, and we should probably also continue to build up our... 
places around here. There you go. And build some more of this. Inc oh god, no, not another raid. No. Um, thirty percent. The infrastructure here is kind of garbo. There you go. From Frizzland. Protect the silence. Rain Raiders. Rainers. Republic. Neo Castle Slavers. Bog Hoppers. The Republic. Uh, rain. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go and cancel this. You guys all come here, just in case. And let's take a look. 10, 9, 8, 7. Alright, so we barely get here in time. Alright, seems like we're winning so far. That's good, good. Beat him up, beat him up. Give him the 1 2 buckle my shoe type of experience. Successful defense. Finally, the enemy raiding party has been hit hard and pushed back outside our borders. Undoubtedly, they're like unlikely to try that again. Very good, guys. Very good. Finally. We don't suck yet, for now. Just because we were able to get there in time. That's literally why. Nathan, huh? Oh, do we have more divisions? Oh, yeah, another one. Nice. Iron Factory? Yes, please. Since some extra ones, it's currently high. Your community, this one has a large amount of trust. Okay, cool. Animosity. Animosity. Oh, goodness. Uh, the strong will lead. I like that idea. Scrap tanks sound like fun. War on wheels. Uh, a little bit more attack is not bad. Let's go up and do. What is this? Infrastructure seems okay. Actually, do you get. Infrastructure, infrastructure. You get a lot of building slots. Forest clearing. Let's do the hinterlands. The underdeveloped land between the Ever Tree Forest and Philadelphia is known as the hinterlands. Within these lands, settlements are scarce and resources are even scarcer. Developing it will be difficult, but it will be necessary if we wish to construct the two halves of our empire. After this, we're going to rush down this side. So, and see what happens. I, I have, literally have no idea what's going to happen. Sounds interesting, though, to see what could potentially happen. Nice. We've cracked the formula, huh? Here we go. How much? This probably doesn't take too much longer, huh? No, it does not. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, good enough for me. Hopefully, good enough for you. Let's go. Born into service. And waves of flush. Less training time, less, a little bit less output. That's all right, though. Can we see this? No, we can't see this. Gosh darn it. Well, we've lost 274 in the past month. Uh, we are struggling a little bit here and there. Maybe I forced you all to attack. Could you do it? Probably. Vacuum tubes. Very good. Grab some more reinforced rate. No, I'll get some more simple circuitry first. That'd be good. Buy slaves. Ooh. We would gain a thousand slaves. Okay, yeah. Why not? I love slaves. They're my favorite type of slaves. Slaves. Especially foreign slaves. Domestic slaves? No, 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 no. Foreign slaves are where it's at. Three. Two. Let's rush down the, with the IMF. IMF? No, not the International Monetary Fund. The IMP experiments. We unfortunately know very little regarding IMP. However, we do know that it is the only thing capable of allowing Red Eye to fully realize his ambitions. We must strive to understand this strange substance and its inner workings so that we may find or may safely manufacture and utilize it. Sounds like a good idea. Three. Two. One. Come on, get some max planning in there. Please stop moving around and actually get to your spot, please. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Three. Just go. Public projects. Very good. And actually, I'm going to go and do this. Radio. Better reinforce rates. Very good. Does anyone have upgrades? It seems like whoever we fight, we mostly have ended up just slaughtering. Which, don't get me wrong. I love it. I love it. Talons. More soft attack. Uh, I want to keep making sure we do our engineering stuff first and industry stuff. And then we'll do maybe some race-specific technologies. That's a lot of... Hold oh my bad word. That's a lot of damage. In oh. Seriously? Seriously, right now? Of all things? Alright, so let the infantry come back over here. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta have this one. Oh, man. They're really gonna have a choke... Oh, they had two choke points. My bad. I didn't realize that. I'll let you guys just continue what you're doing. You guys... Freeside Raiders, huh? Well, yeah, you're slightly closer, so that's not too bad. Reclaiming Arms Factory? Yes, please. 
Next up, we shall choose veteran training instructors. There we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, 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 good. If you guys do not have orders to go here, please go ahead. Oh, they kind of already do. You guys will take some time, that's alright. You guys are barely over there, but you're still over there. Good. And request alicorns. Unity's greatest assets is its alicorns. These majestic abominations are the height of wartime innovation, being creatures with immense arcane power and high adaptability. Perhaps if the military or ministry of arcane sciences had been a bit quicker in developing them, the war could have ended much differently. They were not enough, though, and now these monsters are nothing more than the purpose of the goddess, or puppets of the goddess, devoid of any semblance of individuality. They can still be of great use to us, though, as they are some of the deadliest creatures to exist in the wasteland. How's this war going down here? Oh, it's going okay. It's actually going well for them, which is nice. Alright, they're going to move in. Successful defense. Look at that. Look at those guys run. Beautiful. So you guys come on back here and actually help out as well. So that'd be very nice. Thank you. Go, 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 go. You two will pass. Go, 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 go. You guys finish up there. And they'll do the other focus core, all that stuff, hopefully. Nice. Can't beat us. You, you, you are doom, doom, dum, dum. There we go. Children's State of Foldopia. Very good. And just in case any of you suckas want to do that again, we'll put you guys there. I'll put you guys right there. I'm going to put the special forces near these pieces of garbage over here. Alright, very nice. Hi. No, we'll do it again because we can. Goods Factory, why not? Freeside Raiders, Clear War, Mudbug. Ah, I love slaves. Another division, don't mind if we do. Anyone that needs to train, go right ahead. But we must not forget that these guys are only 10 or 18 combat width. Well, we can throw this on there. Fire teams actually might be just a little bit better because they actually do give you a little bit more defense and air attack as well. Um, not as much breakthrough though, but whatever. Tried and true. Infantry it is. Let's see. Fire teams we already have, which are good. Demo teams, well, we might have enough. Yes, we do. And anti-tank, we should have enough, well, even though we need to make some. Do we even have that research? We should. Recon support equipment is looking okay. You know what, we'll just throw all them on. There you go. Support equipment, oh, we're, we don't have enough factories, that's why. Uh, go down to five then. Share the wealth. That's all I can say, just share the wealth. Nice. Awesome. Request alicorns. Actually, I have a little bit more time, so... Yeah, this video's gonna be long, but whatever. Birth of a new nation. We are no longer a simple disorganized army of raiders, slavers, and griffins playing pretend of being a nation. We've proven ourselves to be a proper force within the wasteland, and a true powerhouse that won't be going anywhere for a long time, just like Celestia's Equestria of Old. Red Eyes Empire shall last for over a thousand years. Like a thousand year Reich? Hmm. Hmm. Red Eyes Slavers become known as Red Eyes Empire. Nice. Very good. We could actually really, really use that. Encoded signals, don't mind if we do. How about we get some decode signals? Yes, please. Yeah, every cap for the army. We love it. Closed borders. Alicorns red eyes. Slaves and slavers alike pause and look up in awe as a wing of alicorns flew overhead. Rumors had persisted for a while that Red Eye had recruited such powerful creatures to his cause, but most of them had simply written them off as fool foolishness and hearsay. They couldn't dare deny their own sight, though, and soon of all of Philadelphia would be a light with news of the terrifying new creatures now at Red Eye's disposal. Distribute them into Philly. Oh boy. Battle hardened soldiers. I don't want to lose any more political power yet. Military academy training, because we can. Now, I don't know who else we get, you know, war goals on, but I want to start just finding other people. Like these raiders? Wow, what is wrong with the mayor? Base camp, this is. Is this a generic focus tree? It actually might be, huh? Let's see. Oh, oh! Claims and war goal for a lot of different people's stuff. Wow. Birth of a new nation, of course. Okay, I'm gonna wait to, just to find anybody. Let's just kinda hang out and have a good time with each other. Reclaim arms workshop. Enslaved population. We lose 2,000 slaves, four settlements. Hmm, I don't wanna lower the, anyone's population just yet. Actually, let's take a look at this. Birth of a new nation. Beautiful. Now we have all these other areas that we gotta core, and actually, we'll double check it once we have things taken care of down there. Metalworking. 
production is looking good. Construction is looking not too bad either. Uh, build it up because you can, build it up because you can, and then build it up a little bit more with factory nodes. Next up, burn the ever tree. Let's do Dr. Glue's experiments. Dr. Glue believes that we can replicate both the creation of alicorns and the circumstances of the goddess's ascension. The only downside is that he will need quite a few test subjects and quite a lot of time to successfully do such. However, it will be necessary if Red Eye wishes to accomplish his ultimate ambitions. Well, we'll see what they are. Wow, that's a lot of political power, not gonna lie. You know what, we can do this one. Why not? Get a little bit more research. Look at them. The Empire! Very nice. Anything over here? Talent training is always false. Wow. Actually, this is not as good as... Well, they get more organization, but you get less just by world goals times. And you actually get more division defense, which is not bad. Dangerous, no means only. No means allowed. Well, we do allow slaves, so... Bog hopper is good. Kill everyone. Kill, let them kill each other off. I guess as high the highest level of trust you can get, maybe, in our, our, or trust of us, and our trust in them is absolute, so. Complicated circuitry it is. Well, we might as well go outside of battalions. I mean, we literally might as well, just because of what we've done. But we'll burn the Ever Tree. Or Ever Free Force presents a problem to us as it separates the Red Eyes Cathedral from the rest of his empire. It must be dealt with if he wishes to have a truly unified empire. Ever Tree. Now, where is that? Ever free, I mean. Oh, there's a lot of ever free. Oh, they're already here. Oh. Ponyville. Oh. Oh. Well, just in case. Like I said, I have no idea what's in store for us, so. We shall see what happens. And do we have any more planes? Please tell me. I like the planes. I really like the planes. Pinkie Pie Balloons. Oh, don't mind if we do. You gotta love your Pinkie Pie. Just in case. There you go. There you go. There you go. Only 15,000 manpower. Never enough. Never enough. Oh, they're slowly coming in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Alright, more divisions. Very nice. We're not making that many divisions. We might need to make a few more. At least we're not limited by a cap system right now, which is actually very, very nice. Alright, so, how much... Oh, well, I was going to ask how much infantry armor do we have. We have enough. Occupy territories. Go and switch over maybe to riders. Thank you. Actually, you use the same amount of manpower, actually. And the production cost is way less for militia. Manpower 125. Manpower... Huh. 100, technically. Into the angry forest. The ever free forest. For countless years since the abandonment of the castle of the two sisters, the forest went untouched by pony kind never to be clear or ventured into, mostly because of the innumerable amount of beasts that dwell within it and the unpredictable magic and weather that had reigned over it for so long. Even the balefire bombs two hundred years ago left the forest mostly intact from its pre war days. Now, as Red Eye looks upon the thousands of half dead trees, that is the ever free. He knows that it stands in the way of this, his ambitions, and finally doing away with the bane that is the ever free is the only solution. With a large amount of flamer fuel and enough slave labor, the forest could be cleared away. Within moments, the entire forest was aflame, and it's quite a spectacle, spectacle that many across the wasteland could see. Leave no beast alive? Oh boy. Uh, just in case, we'll just come back over here then. When some falls, y'all gonna die. Alright, so we gotta get down a rising phoenix. We gotta get to these next. So, inspire the masses? Oh, we'll do the steel rangers. So, when Balefire rained from the sky, the majority of Equestria's ponies perished in the flames. However, some groups managed to live on. Isolated herds of survivors, former military personnel, and those unfortunate to be ghoulified all managed to survive that fateful day. Among these survivors, one group in particular is of note, the Steel Rangers, remnants of the Ministry of Wartime Technology who sought to preserve their ministry's work for the good of all pony kind. Over the centuries, they've abandoned part of their mission and, de and devolved into a little more than Technophiliac hoarders. They once prowled through Philadelphia's ruins, stealing any bit of technology they could get their hooves on and terrorizing the poor ponies simply trying to eke out a living. Thanks to our efforts, they were pushed out of the, most of the city, however. They now occupy southern Philadelphia, where they now operate out of the Stable Tech headquarters. They will have to be dealt with if we were to build if we are to rebuild all of this great city. I'm assuming it's down here. Yep. Oh my goodness. Elder Blueberry Saber. He's a traditionalist, huh? Well, if we have to deal with this traditionalist, so be it. And now I've slipped my army into two. Well, yeah. It's still two. It's not an equal two. But maybe we don't need an equal two. Alright, very good. 
Equal Whip. Gideon Zugamelin, uh, yeah, I like that because you get more... Actually, you're charismatic as well, so... Uh, who has more attack? You do, so... Gideon! There you go. But you are special forces, so... 3% mm, more attack. Let's get more max planning, why not? Oh, crap. From the rain... Oh, Jesus Christ. We're literally trying to come across the entire map here. Oh, wait, we can't even leave. Oh, what the? We can't leave. Um, well, we can't do anything then. Garrison slaughtered. I mean, there's nothing we, we can't leave. Uh, that's my bad. I did not know we were going to have that happen to us, so. Chained legions. Less heart attack, less factory output, more group of population factor, more soft attack. All right. All right, yeah, why not? Well, in any case, keep training then. So when does this place become demilitarized? That's a good question to ask. So it looks like we probably need to core these areas then. Which shouldn't be too bad. 207. Compliance more than 95%. Secrets of the old world. Test IMP on slaves? Sure, why not? Why not? Well, I'll do that one too. The Steel Rangers. Hmm. The forest, the cathedral, more construction speed, more weekly... Pony power. Oh, we get cyber dogs. Oh, yes. The ever free road. Well, oh, we got a launch attack. Oh, we can't do that. Inspire the masses then. For two centuries now, Equestrians have little more than pain and strife. Most ponies have short, unpleasant lives, which are often cut short with a bullet or any of the countless dangers that occupy the wasteland. We dream of a world where this is no longer the case, a world where our ponies may once more live happy and carefree lives. With your help and your sacrifice, we can make this dream come true. We can once more enjoy a world where there's no pain, no suffering. All we need is you, the ponies of Philadelphia, to do your part, and that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will deal with these... Philadelphia Steel Rangers. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.